You can download the asks in the video for free, link in the description. To create an isometric auto tile, create a new scene with the tile map layer as the core, then go to scene, scene save as, and save it. Then under texture, we'll set the texture filter to nearest as we're using pixel art. Then under the empty for tile set, we'll create a new tile set, then select it to open it up. I'll set the tile shape to isometric, and I will set the tile layout to diamond down. Although, depending on how your isometric tiles are drawn, you may want to experiment with different types of tile layouts. Next, for the tile size, I will set it to 48 by 24. This should be the size in pixels of the top face of your isometric tiles, and don't worry about the true size of each tile, as that will be handled separately. Additionally, keep in mind that this value also defines the size of the tiles in the grid of this tile map, meaning that when you place an isometric tile later, this value is what will be used to separate those tiles and put them next to each other. Then, for an auto tile, we will drop down the terrain sets, select add element, then we will drop down terrains and add element again. I will also select the color and change it to white as it will make it easier to see when we start adding the data for the terrain. Additionally, a terrain set is what we will be using for the auto tiling as the terrain is what holds all the data that informs Godot of what tiles should be placed next to each other. Then at the bottom, go to the tab for tile set, then select the plus, select atlas, and select the art atlas that you can download for free, link in the description, and press open, select no. Then with the art selected, under setup, we will set the texture region size to the full size of each isometric tile, which for me is 48 by 40. Then you can use left click to add a tile. Additionally, you can just hold down left click and drag it over. And in the case that you accidentally add a tile that you don't want, press right click and select delete. Now for the auto tile data, under paint, select the property editor, select terrains, then select the terrain set and terrain that we created earlier. To add a tile to our terrain, simply select it like before, either holding left click or selecting it. Although, unlike before, you can only remove a tile from this terrain by using Ctrl or Command plus Z, we will now be able to add the data for each tile. For my art, within the 3x3 isometric grid that is on top of my tiles, I will select the tiles where the black part is. Keep in mind that although the grid is visually offset from the actual top of the tile, it doesn't matter, as this terrain is just a visual to represent the data that we are adding for each tile. And like before, you can use left click to paint the tile, or use right click to remove some data. Once complete, you will now have the auto tile system ready. To use it, go to the tile map tab at the bottom, and instead of selecting individual tiles, go to the terrains tab, and select the terrain we created earlier. And from here, we can either select a specific tile that we want to draw, or for the auto tile, select the first option, which will place the appropriate auto tile, and it will update neighboring tiles to make sure that they suit it properly. Or you can select the second option, which will only connect tiles when you draw over them, rather than when you place next to them. Additionally, you can still use all of the other tools underneath the tile map layer, while using either of these two options, such as the pencil tool, line tool, rect or square tool, bucket or fill tool, picker tool, and the eraser tool. Finally, as mentioned before, in the case of your tiles aren't placing next to each other in the way that you want, try the different tile layouts, and also try changing the size of the tile, until the tiles fit each other properly. These values will need to be different based on the art of your isometric tile set image. Now you have basic isometric auto tiling, that you can add to any of your 2D Godot games, and don't forget that you can check out the project files, link in the description.